Uh, today I would like to introduce uh, Professor Sean Lee. He's going to be our presenter just now. And I know you already learned a lot about studying Macau. There's still a bit more for you to learn. Sean, thank you so much for being here. I'm going to give the floor to you. Remember to drop any questions if you like. And I'll be back in the end. Thank you so much. Okay. <clears throat> thank you, Bianca. Hello, everyone. Uh, students, visitors from uh, all over the world. Let me share my screen. Okay, so uh, my name is Sean Lee, uh, Pro Rector of the City University of Macau. I'm responsible for the uh, international affairs and uh, international education. So it is really a great pleasure for me to meet Bianca, the BMI, and uh, all the visitors and guests here. Now today I'm going to introduce you uh, City University of Macau. So my title is Live and Study in City University of Macau. Where is Macau? So I believe some of you already know Macau. Macau is part of China. So here is a map of China. Where is Macau? Macau is a very, very tiny spot in the south point of the map of China. That's a red dot shows it there. If I magnify it, it goes like this. Macau. So you see the circle, Macau. Macau actually consists of two parts. The upper part is Macau Peninsula and the lower part is Taipa area. It used to be two islands but now becomes one island called Taipa Island. Our university is at the northern part of Taipa or facing to the north the Macau Peninsula. We also have two small uh, the branch campuses at Macau Peninsula there. Okay. I show you in the red circle. Now I want to introduce you the fact sheets about Macau. Macau is a small place, only 32 square kilometers, close to 33 square kilometers. How large is that? It's actually 5 by 6 or 5 by 7. So that's how large it is. But high density of population. So this small place with 685,400 people, you know, approximately in up to this year. It is the fourth longest life expectancy in the world, top three GDP per capita in the world, the first European colony in the Far East, that was in 1557. And we turned back to China with one country, two systems in 1999. So what is one country, two systems? Just like in, like in Hong Kong, so uh, here the pay, uh, Macau enjoy uh, a diversified kind of systems. For example, with its own money system, tax law, law system, etc. The money, like one US is equal to eight pataka and also language Chinese language and Portuguese are the two official languages here but most people speak Chinese but you can once in a while hear people speak Portuguese Portuguese is also part of the official languages uh, Macau historic center the city center of Macau was recognized by UN United Nations as a World Heritage Site in 2005. So like at the right hand, the picture, you, you can see that. And uh, Macau is also recognized as a creative city of gastron gastronomy by UNESCO in 2018. The top industry here is tourism, entertainment, and cultural industries. Transportation to here, 
very convenient. We have an international airport uh, connected to uh, most of the Asian countries and uh, also close to uh, Hong Kong, the Hong Kong International Airport, close to, uh, uh, connected to, uh, to North America, to UK, all over the world. We also have a harbor ferry terminal uh, from here to Hong Kong. It's about 70 minutes. And recently, there is a bridge, there's a bridge built uh, called Hong Kong, Zhuhai and Macau Bridge. If we take that bridge, uh, with the shuttle bus, it's only 40 minutes to Hong Kong. So very convenient. Okay, here is uh, some pictures of the uh, Macau. Give, just give you a quick overview. Macau Peninsula, very highly den uh, densely populated. One of the uh, no, landmark of the city, St. Paul's. And this is the Macau International Airport. And this is the bridge I mentioned the Zhuhai Hong Kong Macau Bridge connected to Hong Kong 40 minutes take the shuttle bus and <coughs> and this is the the uh, black sand beach in, uh, <coughs> in Macau a very small one but also very beautiful uh, okay so just a quick introduction about Macau now comes to the introduction about the city University of Macau I just want to give you some key milestones of the development of our university. So in 1981, March the 28th, East Asia University was founded. That was the first university, modern university in Macau, uh, up to now 40 years of history. And that university was the uh, pre president of the City University of Macau. In 1988, that university was divided into three parts, Macau U, Macau Poly U, and East Asia Open University, Macau. And in 1992, with the co collaboration work with National Open University of Portugal, we changed the name again to Asia Open University, Macau. So that is another key milestone. Then in 2004, China Ministry of Education approved is our recruiting men and students for postgraduate studies. So as a matter of fact, our university was the first university that you know, recruiting uh, students for postgraduate studies in Macau, and also from men in China. In September 2010, Mr. Tamin Tamin Khan appointed as the chairman of the University Board of Directors, and he take over the university from the three the former owners, the three owners of uh, the university, and the university becomes non-profit, private university. So that is another milestone of the development of this university. Two thousand eleven we changed our university name again to Macau City University or City University of Macau. So in this sense, the City University is the youngest university in Macau, but at the same time, it is also one of the oldest university in Macau. So it's very interesting here. In 2012, the Chinese Ministry of Education uh, approved our recruitment of undergraduate students from mainland China. So from that year, our student number you know, grows sharply. Up to now, we have over 6,000 students in our university. So, uh, so at, if you see, I'm not sure whether you recognize this guy. This is the Pierre Trudeau, the former Canadian president he is our honorary doctor. The, the person who was honored as an honorary doctor is Kissinger, the former state of, uh, Secretary of the State of America during the East Asia University time. Okay. 
and if you see see the guy in the middle, this person, he is the uh, the uh, the gambling tycoon <coughs> of Macau. Okay, so up to October this month, 2020, we all together have 6,000 students. We have PhD programs, master programs, and bachelor program. For PhD students, there are about 776 students occupying 12%, a little bit over 12%. The master of students in our university is 1700, a little bit over 1700, occupying 27% of the total student population. The bachelor, the student, undergraduate students is the major body of the population, over 3,000. Okay, so that's, this is the number of the, 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 the components of the student population. We have about 10 faculties and schools. Humanities, Faculty of Humanities and Social Sciences. This is one of the oldest faculty in our university. Faculty of Tourism, management, faculty of innovative design, faculty of law, school of education, open institute, canteria education, faculty of business, and faculty of finance. We have over 11 research institutes in our university. Institute for Research on Portuguese speaking countries. This institute also you know, recruit master and PhD students. Institute of Analytical Psychology also you know, recruit the uh, master and PhD students. We also have Institute of Data Science, again, to also uh, you know, um, admit master and PhD uh, students. So we have 11 research institutes and 10 faculties and schools. Uh, in this slide, you will see the programs, the bachelor programs uh, in our university. Uh, the programs that are marked in red are delivered in English. For example, uh, international tourism and hotel management, we, have, we are open for international students. Uh, English program, of course, Portuguese uh, for the bachelor degree, it's open for, for international uh, students as well. Um, the rest of the Chinese uh, programs are delivered in Chinese. So for those students who have some basic foundational Chinese, you, you can apply um, once you are admitted we will have some supporting units to, uh, to, to reinforce your Chinese uh, competency. So in this slide you will see the master degree programs. Again, those programs marked in red uh, are delivered in English. Again, for international hospitality and tourism management, international hotel management, uh, we have English program. So uh, if those students, uh, if you are interested in, uh, in these two programs, you can apply. And uh, these two programs, the uh, flagship programs in our university, it was ranked, uh, it has accredited by the United Nations UNESCO uh, High Quality Educational Accreditation, TACO, that's what we call it. So very good programs. Uh, for the uh, MBA, we also uh, deliver the program in English. The tuition fee at the right hand column, uh, just give you 
several seconds to look at the tuition fee. So the rest of the programs that are not marked in red are delivered in Chinese. So uh, again, uh, I know people from the Southeast Asia, uh, from uh, Korea and Japan, some students are able to speak very good or foundational basic Chinese, but if you are in interested in uh, applying, uh, we have some uh, uh, supporting system to reinforce the, uh, the language competency. So this, is, uh, this slide shows you the PhD programs. Again, the, pro the program marked in red are delivered either in Chinese or in English. If you look at the tuition fee, our tuition fee is pretty competitive comparing to the, to, to the uh, other universities in, 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 in this region. So we have the PhD program in finance, data science, design, urban planning and design, international tourism management, Portuguese speaking country studies, applied psychology, cultural industry management, education, and DBA, Doctor of Business Administration. Okay. So as you see, as you see from the programs you offered, most of the programs are delivered in Chinese. Only a few are delivered uh, in English. So. Our university is still a university towards, towards internationalization. And recently, we have, you know, uh, <clears throat> we are planning to uh, develop more pro programs uh, that will be delivered in English. Um, in our next five year plan, our university is devoted to building stronger international uh, academic team and management team. So right now, 80% of the academic staffs have a PhD uh, obtained from world-renowned universities in uh, Northern America or in Europe, in UK, Australia. Uh, right now, we also have a small group of international students around the world, including Portugal, Canada, uh, France, uh, Finland this year. We have one student from Finland, um, uh, Republic of Korea, Philippines, Indonesia, Vietnam, Guinea-Bissau, Mozambique, etc. So, uh, but this uh, all together, uh, uh, including the students from Hong Kong and, and Taiwan, we have about uh, 120 uh, students that are non-local, non-mainlanders, okay? But again, this is a very small, it's about only like 3% uh, of the, uh, uh, the whole student population. As I said, we are a university towards um, internationalization. We well, okay, uh, there's uh, two links here. Uh, one is called Scholarship for Outstanding Students for Portuguese speaking countries and Ashon countries. You can apply for the scholarship, the full scholarship for the whole study, the length of study. And there is another scholarship called One Belt, One Road Scholarship offered by Macau Foundation of Macau. So if you are interested, you can apply for that. It is not that competitive. This year, because of the uh, pandemic, I'm not sure, I don't know the policy, whether the policy we're going to change or not, but just keep an eye looking at those two links and you will see the update information and make your own decision to apply for the study, okay? And let me, at last, let me show you some of the pictures of our university. Our university, as I showed you in the map, is located at the mountain of the uh, of Taipa area, a very beautiful campus. Okay, so so when you're going uh, through one building to another, from the lower one to to the to the to the higher one, 
we have the escalator. So this is the uh, to the north. The north, the uh, the 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 far side is the Marco Peninsula. So we're at the Thai bar, you know, watching at the northern part of of Macau region. And uh, Macau Peninsula is connected to Thai Pa area uh, with three bridges. You can see the right one, the central one, and the left one. So this is one of the uh, teaching buildings. Okay, another teaching building for the uh, Faculty of Innovation and Design. And this is one of the uh, our cultural center, the uh, the student auditorium. Students do the performances, the uh, the uh, uh, festivals here. We also use uh, for the uh, uh, new semester commencement ceremony and graduation ceremony. Quite a few this type of uh, small auditorium for the seminars. This is our library. Uh, this is the, a small gym. Although the place, the campus is very small, we still, uh, you know, tried very hard to to make some room for our uh, physical exercises. And these are some of the student performances and festivals. This we have um, each every summer and winter we send our students to different countries for the uh, summer and the winter immersion programs. And we also have some uh, semester exchange programs with universities from mainland China, from Hong Kong, and uh, Taiwan region, and uh, Northern America, etc. So if, when students come here, you got the chance to, you have the chance to, to, to have one semester exchange with our partnership universities in the world. Okay, this is in the uh, University of Porto. We sent a group of students there in, in 2019. Okay, for admission, so you can scan the barcode and there will be a, 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 a website. Um, we usually encourage our students to apply online. But if you have any questions, if you want to talk with our staff in the administration admission office there's email there so you can uh, and also telephone number okay that's all for my presentation now i would like to uh welcoming questions from the audience hi Shan, thank you Anna, thank you so much for um for your presentation that was lovely Unfortunately, we're a little bit over time, so we won't have any time for questions. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, but of course, if there's anything you'd like to know, please, as soon as you leave the room, you can join his uh, his booth and you have, can have one-to-one -one conversations. You can uh, know more about your specific situation, learn a bit more about the university via text, audio, or even video chat. So thank you all for being here. I wish you have a couple of seminars coming, so I'll see you guys soon. Uh, Professor Sean, thank you so much for being here with a lovely presentation. Thank you all for coming. I'll see you guys soon and bye-bye for now. Okay, thank you. Thank you for all. Have a nice day.